morning, everybody. Hello. We are still in the Bridger Teton National Forest, right on the edge of the Teton National Park. And we have been camping here for two days. We think that we are about to pack up mm -hmm. and go try to find something else. I think we're going to move on. Um, you can go further up this road behind us and there's camp spots. Last night the campground was full, but I've seen people leaving. There were some really cool spots up there yesterday, or two days ago when we got here, but they were taken. So we're going to go check that out. If that's a bust, we're just going to find somewhere else to go camp. We kind of want to go more primitive. This is a, a busy area. Even though this is in the National Forest, the way it works is because it's so popular, because it's the only national park or, or national forest road next to the Teton National Park, they started having designated areas like that sign behind us, but it still is a campground, but you don't pay for it, it's free, so this place gets really busy. Since mm -hmm. we've sat here this morning, we've had probably 15 vehicles drive by in the last 30 minutes. And that was before we even woke up. 7 o'clock is when I woke up this morning, and it was because... There were cars going down the road. Now, all during the night, it's great. Dude, Very it quiet. It was eerily quiet. It was so quiet that I could hear the ringing in my ears. That was kind of cool. We've seen mule deer this morning. Yeah. So, it's still nice, but we're looking for something a little more secluded. Oh, this stuff's making my nose run this morning. Yeah. And here comes another vehicle. Yeah, I don't know if they're coming around. Oh, they're going up that road in front of us. Oh, so yeah. we're kind of at a Y, and that's why we get a lot of traffic. This main road comes in and it splits out into two areas. While Kelly's uh, finished drying off some dishes, and we got camp set up or packed up as well so we're getting ready to leave i wanted to show y'all my drone that i have because many of you've been asking about it what i have if i can get it out is the dji mavic 2 pro with the smart controller many of you have asked how do we fly it whenever we're driving or something actually i manually fly the drone when we're driving kelly will be driving but it does have an active track the active track is a little spotty. Sometimes it will follow you and have surging to it, so it doesn't do a very smooth follow all the time. Uh, we try using that when we go kayaking or mountain biking. But the other th feature I really like about it is you're not supposed to fly drones in national parks uh, or around federal buildings like in Washington, D.C. So or airports. So that controller has a map uploaded to it with all the regulations and restrictions for map or for flying. So here in the National Forest, I can fly the drone, but for example, if I keep going that way to the National Park, the drone will stop and won't go into the National Park zone. So that's a very nice feature to keep you out of trouble when you're flying your drone around. Y'all, this is the spot that we really wanted, and you have to drive all the way back here. But it looks like there's somebody here, so we're gonna try to turn around without bothering them somehow. Yeah, and they got a full on camper back here, it's not easy. Okay, here is the next one. And we drove down this road when it was rainy the other day, and it was so muddy I mean, crazy muddy. Um, and that's the only reason we didn't try to get the spot. So um, we're going to go check it out and see what it looks like. It's way back here, so we'll kind of be kind of private. So let me show you guys. I don't know if you can see. Oh, we're going way back there. So I'll show you when we get closer. We just noticed you've got to see the Grand Tetons from here. This is insane. Holy cow, if we can get this site and it works out, amazing. All right, it's a bust. You had to go around the, uh, the mountain a little bit and then there's some mud's tent. So it was hidden, we couldn't see it. On to the next. So we just pulled in off this road here. We just left where the view of the Grand Tetons is. 
came around a switch back and we passed this spot several times apparently it's not nobody likes it it's not very popular it's a big open area I think we're gonna take it and I think we're gonna stay here the rest of the time While Cody is finishing yoga, it has been four days since I've done yoga and I needed it so desperately. And up here is like the best because the ground is dry. It's so crazy how different the climate is from where we were. We climbed up the mountain a little bit. The climate is so much different. Yeah, I think we drove what? Maybe not miles? even yeah oh my gosh it's just so much better up here the plan for today is i need to go back to the grocery store get water for the shower. fill up the waters um we had uh someone that lives here tell us about a campground well a camp national forest camping road um but for us it was going to be an hour and a half out of town and we're here strictly just to enjoy the grand teton in that area we want to do hikes and we don't want to be that far away i would like to be able to cook from here on out except for one more night we have one place that we want to go it's our favorite we've been there before we love it so we're help we're keeping that one but i do want to cook the other night so but we are um, thinking about going in a scouting yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go scout this other road for future reference. We also are going to make it to the showers today before 7 o'clock because I want to be cooking by then, before, not before then. Well, yeah, but we'll just cook down there around the area possibly. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. So the possibilities are limitless right now. Today is the best day of my life. <laughs> and so happy. All the time. So we're filling up our water jug behind the Shell Station in Jackson Hole. Now that we've gotten everything on our to-do list done, we're going to head down that forest road just north of Jackson. Uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, it's near the town of Kelly. Kelly, like my Kelly. Do you own that town? Are you the judge? I do. Oh, okay. So change of plan, since we were already in town, we decided we were gonna go shower. That way we can make our way back out. And if we find a cool spot, we can actually chill and cook dinner out there. So we thought that'd be a better plan. Now we're gonna make our way out to the National Forest. Kind of really in love with where we're at right now. Yeah, so this 
this is actually a campground. It's kind of the same way you don't pay. It's first come first serve. There's a water spigot right there. There is. Um, but this is the Gro Gross Ventry. I'm probably not even saying it right. River. And so you would have a river view, but the wind looks pretty crazy. We should see. We should probably put on some more clothes. These people have jackets on. All right, let's check it out. It's cold, but no colder than Arkansas uh, waterways. Oh. So this is called the Crystal Creek Campground. I really wanted to check out this water. Oh, okay, there it goes. Would you want to drive down there and check that out before we commit to that one? Whatever you want to do. Or do you want to go and get started and eat? We can cook here. It's fine. Okay. We're not camping. And what is my amazing Kelly whipping up tonight? Spaghetti carbonara. Ooh. That sounds good. Okay. Change of plans. We realize that there's more places down the way and we think we can go check those out too. And I got to put on my seatbelt. Ticket or click it. Click it or ticket. Click it or ticket. Did I say that right? Click it or ticket. I can't see. Just right up, ram it. Ram it. Ram it. There you go. Just take on a take on a left. Okay, we're at site two. I think. And this spot is less windy and very nice. Man, I would so camp here in a heartbeat. I'm telling you what. I'm telling you what, man, this is uptown high rent, Kelly. Man, this is my kind of camping spot. Yeah, it's right mm. right, Can we just snap our fingers and be there? Yeah, and all our stuff be here right now. Yeah. All right, guys, we're cooking this, what she says she's cooking. Spaghetti carbonara, let's hit it. Found the beach. Water's cold.
so this is a beautiful area and I really wish we were camping here, but we're not. But we did get to enjoy dinner here and that was really lovely. Um, but it is getting dark by the time we pack up, get back to camp, it'll be dark. So we're just going to say goodnight to you guys here. Yeah, and we'll see you in the morning. See ya. Good morning, everybody. We are excited because the sun is going to warm us up this morning. Instead of just solely depending on the heaters. Hopefully this is the first morning we won't have to have the other little heaters that we've had. I still have my Mr. Buddy right here. Or Buddy Portable, whatever, Mr. Heater. Whatever it's called. I still have that right here. Just kind of keep my hands warm for a little bit. But I know we're going to be taking off layers here pretty soon. How are you feeling? Good. Oh, check out my outfit. <laughs> I asked Kelly, I said... If if I would have came up the first time and introduced myself to her, would you have still dated me if I was showed up like this? I don't know. Probably not? Okay. <laughs> that's that's the secrets of marriage. You can look like this and they still love you. So I'm going to get breakfast started this morning. I'm making my pancakes. But I was looking for huckleberry syrup. And if you don't, if you're not familiar with what a huckleberry is, it's a, it's a, what is it? It's a berry. <laughs> it's a berry, but it's a... It's like a blackberry or like a blueberry. It's a, a wild exotic berry that is only in this region, more like the glacier area. Montana. Yeah, Montana, Wyoming. Um, so uh, you can only buy it up here. They make jam, jellies, syrup, a barbecue sauce. We've had huckleberry ice cream. That's It's legit. really good. It is very, yeah. very good. But... They were out of syrup. I went to like three different places. And if you know me, I didn't buy regular syrup at the store. So I ended up getting jam. So we're going to have jam on our pancakes. I don't know if y'all have ever done that before. We're going to be jamming out. But I hope it's good. I'm questioning it. I think it'll be good. I mean, it's bread and jam. Same thing as a biscuit. Right. right? Yeah, let's jam it. So anyway, I'm going to get started on that. We're done with our morning routine and we are about to go to Jenny Lake to do a hike. And here we go. We are at Jenny Lake and it is so beautiful. Look at the peaks. But we're trying to find a place to park so we yeah. can actually hike Problem is, to is that area right over there. Parking situation is crazy. We should have got here earlier. It's 1230. I know, I know, I know. I should have known better. Yep. But we're going to go ahead and continue on down and see what else we can find. So we did find parking on the side of the road, but this is actually a better entrance to the trail because it will be shaded in trees instead of in an open field. We are hiking the loop around, not around, but I'm part of Jenny Lake because we're going to go see the Hidden Falls. No, I'm not real sure what they're called. That's what it's called. Is it the Hidden Falls? Yeah, it's called Hidden Falls. And if you want to do a really long walk, Hong like. Hong long like. If you want to do a really long hike, you can hike. I think it's about, well, there's a 20 mile hike. Then you could do, um, it's called Cascade Canyon, where you can hike in between. That's the one I really want to do. But we don't have time for that oh, one. Oh, you're right. It is called the Hidden Falls. Yeah.
That was well worth the hike. Did you like it? It was well worth the sit. It, it was well worth the sit. sit. But between this and the moose, it's been an awesome hike. We're going to get back down to the vehicle and shower, right? Yeah, find a shower. Find a place to shower. We'll catch you there. We just got cleaned at a local gym here in uh, Jackson Hole. We would have used the rec area, but the rec area closes it, closed, it too. Yeah. And it's real cheap to get showers there, but because of the current situation, they are closing early, but we got a one day membership at this gym and took a very well needed shower. It felt so good. But we are about to take you to one of our favorite places that we've been to in Jackson Hole the last time we were here, and it is... Melvin's. Well, it's called Tie Me Up. But Melvin's Brew is in there. Melvin's is our favorite brewery in America. Whoa, in America. But the restaurant called Tie Me Up is a Thai restaurant. It, I mean, come on. Do you know what makes it so cool? All the TVs. I'm not big on watching sports on TV, but all the TVs have martial arts movies like Jet Li, Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee playing individual movies on every single screen. It's right up your alley. It is. We'll see you there. We had a great dinner. Dude, Melvin's so never good. disappoints. Never. If you like Thai food, this is the best Thai. I don't even like Thai food. This is the best Thai food ever. It's. I love Thai food. I know you and do. And get everything in on level three, because when you start going past level three, she blew Too her much. nose. Too much. I had to go blow my nose like five times. Yeah. <laughs> However, we're about to go back to camp, and we will see you in the morning. See ya. All right, we're headed to show y'all something pretty neat. It's a pretty staple uh, picture scene here. We're gonna go show you. So this is a popular site I was telling you about. This is an old barn and homestead. And back in the 18, early 1800s, um, Mormon pioneers lived here and they occupied this whole area right here. They had all this land. And this is some of their homestead and barns right here. But this is like, the most popular picture you have the barn and the grand tetons in the background and we're heading to the barn right now i've seen this picture so many times framed at places don't you remember the fit yeah yeah i'll try real quick see what i can do one thing that i was so excited to learn about that i had not told y'all is the actual way that the uh Grand Tetons were formed about a hundred million years ago whenever California or the Pacific uh, plate was pushing into the North American plate it actually caused buckling out here in this area and that part of the uh, Grand Tetons uplifted and this part dropped so there's actually a fault line at the base of it what makes it so amazing is that there's no foothill mountains you're looking at about what 13,700 feet mm -hmm. is the peak and then you're looking at about 6,800 here, right at 7,000 feet from base of the mountain to the top. That is insane because when you go to other parts of the country, you see mountains, you have the foothills before you get to the peak. And that's just straight sheer elevation. That is so cool. The plan for today is we're gonna find a new camp spot. We're gonna go south of Jackson in that national forest. 
and set up camp somewhere else. We're just ready to explore a different area. We want a different feel of a camping area. So we want to get back in the we want to be back into the like nature, the back wilderness. country. Yeah. So that was the plan for today. We're just ready to move on. Um, so we'll catch you on the road. It looks like we finally found a spot. We took a road. What town? Alpine? Alpine Junction, south of uh, Jackson. So we traveled south of Jackson, uh, probably 30 minutes to Alpine Junction, and then we took a left on Highway or Forest Road 181. And uh, we're in not in the uh, Bridger Teton. Teton any longer. We're just in the Bridger National Forest on Sheep Creek. And we've driven down this road for about two hours now. So we are out in the middle of nowhere. But we did pass a lot of people uh, in trailers trying to camp, but this is so pretty. So I have to give it to Kelly because I wanted to camp further down because Memorial Day weekend did not dawn on me that this is Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. And the spot that we were going to camp at was further down Sheep Creek and it was more directly in the sun, but I thought it was pretty. However, Kelly kept saying, babe, I know that there's something up the road just for us. There has to be. There has to be. And guess what? There was. We got camp set up. This place is gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> I did good, huh? You did good up top. Actually, this might and be the- And it's summertime right now. We have on summer clothes, but we'll probably put the winter clothes on here a little bit. Yeah, about an hour, it'll probably drop. <laughs> but this is the probably my favorite camping spot we've had this whole trip. I know, I wish we could stay here like multiple days. You know, we don't have to go back, Kelly. We don't, you said we don't have enough food. No, we don't have enough food. <laughs> and we have the cleanup next weekend oh, yeah, in Hot we Springs. Oh yeah, we to the cleanup. Ah, uh, man, but we just found, we found the money maker. Yeah, this is beautiful. And we put our feet in the water and it's it's kind of like Arkansas spring water. Yeah. Springtime water. But it was kind of hot out here and I actually used a shower for what it's worth. I rinsed off. You got but, your armpits. Yeah. And stuff. Pits and bits. Pits and bits. And I just went and put my feet in the water because it's in the direct sunlight. It is hot, but in the shade, it's like good. You're chilling. Yeah, you start shade. sweating when you stand in the uh, Yeah, as soon sunlight. as you move over here though in the shade, it's really nice. I think... I think we're gonna enjoy the moment enjoy for a few this seconds. Little sound of this creek. And uh, I want to share it with y'all because this is beautiful. I'm yeah. geeking out. Like, <laughs> let's get them up and show. What oh it yeah, like yeah. Getting here. Yeah, we'll we'll get some of that. But I want them to experience all the field. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put together some clips for y'all real quick, and then we'll get you up in the air. And then after that, we've got a surprise. Have a treat for tonight we have not had anything sweet wait i'm lying we had ice cream the other day <laughs> yeah we did um but i thought it was cool let's use our oven and make some cookies 
So Cody's putting the oven together right now and we're gonna Make go ahead and bake cookies. them. We're gonna go ahead and bake these cookies before dinner because I don't wanna have to do it after. All right, oven is at 350. Let's see if I can pull this off. Make it, woo, it's hot in there, babe. Where's the gloves at? I don't know. Don't All make right, a mess. Pray for me. This thing's a little difficult. That's gonna be fun getting that out. Okay, so my timer just went off. I went ahead and pulled the cookies out. And they're brown on top. I'm gonna let them cool, but I've, we've been nibbling on, I say we, me, been nibbling on these cookies up here. For dinner tonight, I'm making broccoli cheddar soup. So let's get it going. Let's eat, it looks so good, I'm so excited. It's finally cool, the sun is crested. Feeling good. Sure. How's that cookie? It's really good. She ate six cookies, and this is my first cookie. Yeah, that bad batch just, <laughs> I ate it all up. <laughs> Man. Well, we do want to say that this is probably our favorite camping spot we've ever been to. Yeah, I'm in love with this area. Love. This is getting a heart on our map. Love. Of our love. locations. However, this trip was amazing it was great Loved to it. spend a whole week in one location instead of jumping around it was really nice and we got to sneak in some of yellowstone yeah yellowstone wasn't even on the books no. we just said we're here yeah we, let's just go we check it out that again close and not even like go for a day yeah so we went ahead and did that 
which was in the last vlog. So if you haven't watched the last vlog, go back yeah, and watch check that. check out the first one. Yep. But there's two for this trip. But we've got to get up at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning because we have 21, 22? 21 hours. 21 hours, which means we're waking up at 5. And we're going to drive as far as we can and just dip out somewhere, lay our heads in our small little tent. Yeah, a little backpacking tent real quick, set up with the pads. Yeah. And then head on to Little Rock. Mm -hmm. Tear. Tear. I'm so sad. However, if you like this vlog, give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and please consider subscribing to our channel. Especially if you made it all the way to the very end of this video. Because it's going to be a long subscribe. one. subscribe. This is going to be a long one. Because they're all this great if you made it this far. <laughs> and we will catch you on the other. <laughs>